Start it. Dear students, today we can see about CRC polynomial. Already we have discussed CRC that is cyclic redundancy check uh, without polynomial form, and we have obtained how we have uh, we can detect the error in that particular uh, formation. Now we are going to explain the CRC uh, polynomial with respect to error detection. in the form of polynomial so polynomial means representing the bits that is 1 and 0 in powers of x so in powers of x example i can give you uh, for a given data word for example 1000000111 you have to represent in polynomial form means so the last it should be x power 0 it should be x power 1 it should be x power 2 then x power 3 then x power 4 x power 5 x power 6 x power 7 x power 8 so the 1 0 will be the coefficient of this x so x power 1 into x power 8 plus 0 into x power 7 plus 0 into x power 6 plus 0 into x power 5 plus 0 into x power 4 plus 0 into x power 3 plus 1 into x square Plus one into x power one plus one into x power zero. It is denoted as x power eight plus x square plus second x square plus x plus one. This is your polynomial representation. So, in this polynomial representation, how we are going to perform CRC? So, CRC for error detection, you know, you have you have to go for encoding and decoding process. So, I will give give you the steps first. So, the steps for encoding. Uh, Encoding. First, what you have to do is you will be given with a data word. You have you will be given with a data word and a divisor. Both a if it is given with polynomial form, no need proceed accordingly. Otherwise, given data word and divisor, you have to convert it to polynomial. Okay. Now divide the data word with the divisor you will be getting a reminder that reminder will be added with your data word so data word plus reminder will give you a code word so this is your encoding process okay this is your encoding process What is the next? We have to go for decoding. So, what you have to do for decoding? The decoding process, the date code word you have obtained will be divided. So, the code word will be divided with the same divisor. That is very important. Same divisor, and you will be obtaining a reminder. In this, if the reminder is equal to zero, then there will be no error. And if it is a non-zero value, it, there will be an error. So this is your simple steps in your polynomial form of detection error detection. So I will give you one one example. The example have the data word. You are given with the data word of one. Zero zero one one zero one 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 zero zero. So 
okay using polynomial h power 4 plus h square plus 1 check for crc okay so you have to check for crc so this one is your divisor this is your data word okay first the data word is not in the polynomial form represent the data word in the polynomial form so 1 so 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 so x power 0 x power 1 x power 2 x power 3 x power 4 x power 5 i x power 6 x power 7 x power 8 x power 9 x power 10 so what you are having its derivative what should be x power 10 plus x power 7 plus x power 6 plus x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x square okay you have to this is your data word in the form of polynomial now we have to divide it with the help of a divisor okay so first we are going to encode it for encoding first what you have to do you have to divide the data word with the divisor so you are the encoder x power 10 x power 10 plus x power 7 plus x power 6 plus x power 4 Plus x power three plus x square. Okay, divide with the divisor, which will be x power four plus x square plus one. Okay. Now, so to bring x power ten, we have to multiply with x power. Six to become x power ten. So the quotient should be x power six. The quotient should be x power six. So x power ten plus x power four. x power six x square into x power six becomes x power eight plus x power six. Now these two have the same powers using modulo two addition. These two gets cancel out. So the higher power x power eight plus x power seven will be there. Bring the next one x power four. Next coefficient is x power four. So now to bring x power eight, what you have to do? You have to multiply with x power four again. So the quotient will be x power four okay, x power four. So x power eight plus x is x two x power four becomes x power six plus x power So these two gets cancel out. We'll be getting x power seven plus x power six plus the next term x power three. Okay. Now x power seven. So what you are having x power seven means uh, you have to multiply with x power. Three to bring its power seven. 
So x power three. X power three. Sorry, then. It's power six. Yes, it will be six plus its power four plus its power three. Okay, so how here its power seven plus its power two into its power three becomes its power five plus its power three. Now this its power three, its power three, its power seven, its power seven gets cancelled out. We're getting its power six plus its power five, and the remaining term plus its square. Now again, for getting its power six, you have to multiply with its square. Okay, you have to multiply with its square. So its power six plus square becomes its power four. Plus its square. So this two, this two gets cancel out. What will be getting in the remainder? Its power five plus its power four. So now the remainder will be its power five plus its power four. What is your code word? You have to add your data word with your Code word. So how to get this? You have to get the code word. So code word is equal to data plus reminder. What will be getting? We'll be getting x power ten plus x power seven plus x power six plus x power four plus x power three. Plus its power two. That is a data word, which will be added with the remainder its power five plus its power four. You have the same its power four plus its power four as per model of addition. One plus one becomes zero. So rearrange it. So its power ten plus its power seven plus its power six plus its power five plus its power three plus its square. Okay, so this is your data, your code word. It's for ten plus it's for seven plus it's for six plus five plus three plus two. Now this next you have to go for your decoding process. The decoding process, what you have to do? The decoding process, you have to divide the same code word which you have obtained now with the same divisor which you have used in the encoder. So in the decoding, you have to use the same thing. So what is the value? Its power ten plus its power seven plus its power six plus its power five plus its power three. That is your code word. Is divided with the same divisor. Its power four plus its square plus one. Okay. Now first its power ten. So it becomes its power six. So its power six 
So it's power 10. It's power 6. So it's power 10 plus x power 4 into x power 7 becomes, sorry, x power 6 into x power 2 becomes x power 6 plus x power x power 8. Here it is, x power 8 plus x power 6. So this 6, 6 gets cancelled out, 10, 10 gets cancelled out. Higher power x power 8 plus x power 7 plus this value x power 5. Okay, now to bring x power 5, you have to multiply with x power 4. Okay, so x power 8 plus x power 4 into x power 2 becomes x power 6 plus x power 4 into 1 becomes x power 4. Now this, this 2 gets cancelled out. You are having x power 7 plus x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus the next term x power 3. Now to get x power 7, you have to multiply with x power 3. x power 7 plus 3, x power 2 into x power 3 becomes x power 5. Then x power 3. At last you will be getting. Okay. So 7, 7 cancel out. 5, 5 cancel out. 3, 3 cancel out. So what are the remaining terms? x power 6 plus x power 4 plus the last term x square. To bring your x power 6 format, you have to multiply with x square. Your quotient should be x square. So x power 6 plus x power 2 into x power 2 x power 4 plus x power 2 into 1 becomes x power 2. At last, we will be getting zero. So your obtained reminder will be zero. That means no error. Okay. So uh, to change, to get an error, you have it will be given in the question itself. Change the code word, uh, the third bit in the code word and do the decoding part. If you are doing the decoding part, definitely you won't get zero. It represents there is an error. Okay. So this is the simple pro problem in your CRC polynomial. I will share the notes also. Thank you.